These girls are getting good, but they're burning a ton of ammo. We've got to start making our own ammo. Oh, no way. Look at all these machines. This is like everything I imagined. Girls, pull all the levers. Am I allowed to film back here? Yeah, you can. No, no way, it's like all done right here. Look at these things. This is all we own so far for reloading. Some sorters? We literally have three sorters and Christina's been busy sorting all our picked up brass. Wow. That's it. We need like a real machine it's now. It's time to okay. upgrade. Yeah, definitely. Mike Dillon, who is the founder of this company, loved aviation. And I did not know we were gonna see helicopters. Helicopter. Helicopter today. Wow. This is the Huey. It'd be not unusual for us to go out and shoot 35 or 40,000 rounds. What are you shooting? What, what are you testing? What's the main one is going to be the M134, but yeah. as far as the, what they're shooting at, we have, a, we have our own range. It's a big range and we actually the Canadian military yeah. uh, uses our plank system really? in their uh, their aircraft. In both so, of our aircraft? Yeah, in the two that you have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, that picture on the wall yeah. is that plank system with two gun pods on it. Okay, Kez, shoot something. <laughs> pew, pew, pew! Oh, you're Gary. Yep. I've been looking for you. You're the guy in all the videos. That would be me. Will he you is charged. Will you be in my video as well? Sure. You gonna sell me one of these machines? For you, such a deal I have today. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Your turn. Okay. Or your turn. Yeah. Nice. I wanted to make 10,000 rounds in a day. Do you think we can do that? In 24 hours, yes. 5,000 a day is, is a pretty good number. So we want to double a pretty good number, but we're like a team. Look at all these girls. I mean, <laughs> they can just be working around the clock, right? <laughs> you think we can do 10,000 in 24 hours? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here it is. This is day one. Let's put it together. We just started assembling this like a couple hours ago. And here we are actually making bullets. Put those in, and now watch up here. This part's gonna push open and let the powder in. Whoa! Filled it to the top. 9.2 grains. Okay, I'm gonna try that. Click all the way down. All the way up. Okay. 0.5. <laughs> 0.5. <laughs> How much do we want? Uh, we want about three. This is crazy. This machine is so awesome. Five. Okay, so too far. Okay, four, four, four two. two. Really? Three, nine. Three, seven. <whistles> closer. Oh, there it is. 0.003. Yeah. Okay. 
No way. Did it work? We made a bullet. Nice. Look at that. Is that not the most beautiful bullet you've ever seen? Okay, what we should do is get your gun and try it out. My gun? Yes, your gun. I think gun. we should use the cheap gun. I think we should... Well, that's your gun. No, it's not. I think we'll get Happy's gun. <laughs> <laughs> like our first day, we just set this up. It's just been a few hours and we're already making rounds. So I don't know how good these rounds are. <laughs> okay, day two. Julia's out here. I think she's at the mill cutting some lumber to make a table. Okay, she's not out here. Okay, did you cut some posts? Yeah. Ooh, like a glove. Hey, oh. beauty! Look at this. Here we go. It's like professional. Look at this table. Oh. We're gonna fix that, and then we're gonna get back to business. There it is, our haul from the gun range. You having fun? I just started. <laughs> I'm, so you're still having fun? Um, yeah. It's like gold panning, but I not know. really. I just like it. So look, there's none in there. Yeah. Those ones. Oh yeah, there you go. There you go. You got some forties. Forties. Yeah. The forties go in the forty bucket. Yep. Yeah. And all these nine millers go in the nine mill. Yes. Can you see that? It's just full of little tiny stainless pins. Those are the little bits that kind of like clean the brass. How long does it tumble? Nine mil. Two hours. This is a lot. These ones have already been lightly tumbled. So they're a little bit cleaned up. Julian, we can just do it. Yeah, we can. Show me. There we go. Yeah, you broke it. Yes. You broke it. The primer's like half out or something. Oh, there we go. Oh man, we're we're like cranking like a machine now. Breaking it again. Yeah, look. This primer's not pushed in all the way. Holy crap, this one's in sideways. Yikes, what is going on? Okay, what's happening here? Why do we have jammed in there? What? Oh, you know what I think is happening? I think this thing is not pushing the primers out all the way. And it's double pri it's putting a primer in on top of... Well, that doesn't make sense. We figured it out, didn't we? Maybe. Okay, so what was happening was... This guy right here, the very first tool to punch out the uh, the old primers was just not always doing that. And then this case was getting jammed. So we tweaked it down a little bit and I think it'll work. So let's see if we can just like get on a roll. Day three, and 
We're just trying to clean up some of the messes we've made. Did that go? That was wimpy, hey? Yeah, try again. I don't even think I need the hearing protection. Oh, that is loud. <laughs> okay, I want my ears back. Oh man. Oh, I love that smell. Okay, we gotta get back in there. I actually have to confess some of our failures. In our wild ambition, we did forget to do some checks. And because we're just about to go shoot some of our first test rounds, we're gonna first do some checks. That fits. That one does not fit. I don't know what's wrong with it. But we are putting those ones in a special bucket for ones that don't work. <laughs> okay, overall length. So we got 1.096, which is a tiny bit short. We took an average of six. Six different overall lengths and we came up with an average of 1.100. So we're gonna go with that for now. Nothing to do, but test them out. <laughs> Did that shoot? Yeah. How come I didn't hit the target? I don't know. Is it shooting? Is that shooting normal? I don't know. It seems like it's shooting. I'm just not hitting anything. I'm gonna, hit, I'm gonna shoot the big target. Okay, seriously. I don't get it. Is it shooting? Hey! Yeah! No way! That worked! Those were our own bullets! Did you see that? Yeah. Oh man. Okay, so the scope is not sighted in. Okay, that that was so exciting. Those were our first homemade rounds. And they all worked. It didn't blow up, it didn't jam, it just worked. <laughs> Julia! Those rounds are working! Yeah. To aim kinda at the top, it might still be hitting pretty low. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Julia, this is working! It is. We are gonna make a mountain of ammo. Like it's gonna be as big as our house. Sweet. <laughs> it just works, eh? Okay, we're also gonna test whether the machine can straighten out this brass just because I would throw it away. But I'm just curious, what would happen if we put that in there? This first one should shape it. Wow. Did it do it? Yeah. No way. Okay, we'll keep this one separate, but that's gonna work Yeah, for sure. We are going to make a thousand rounds in an hour. We've got a cranker, a co-pilot, a standby, and a checker. We are organized and go.
Oh my. Whoa. Okay, we are 15 minutes in. We're at about 150. But I think we're like hitting our stride here. Switching time, it's been 20 minutes. Nicely done. Your main cranker, go! So nothing's getting primers. A ton of powder in there. What do we do when a primer doesn't come out of the primer pocket? Julia, you read the book. You see the primer pocket's empty, so when I return it, will it come back full? It does not come back full. Okay. Hmm. So. Okay. Right Julia here. fixed it. So she lowered this block like an eighth of an inch. And it's just giving like a little bit more push to the primer slider here. Right? Oh, yeah, I saw it. We got, we got primers, so we're back in business, but we did lose 20 minutes. Smooth operator thing. I know. Well, you got 100? 1,000. Wow. 155. If we did it this fast, it would take us 20 hours. Hmm. Yeah. Which is less than 24 hours. It is. The problem is mostly this one. You can just see the rim of the old primer. And then, okay. the, and then the new primer tries to jam in there, and this is what happens. It just squishes in there and gets all crooked. I think we're going to get better. We're gonna learn a little bit, but we're still gonna keep having problems with this old brass. So yeah, it's gonna be a big day. So that's the kind of shell we don't want. It looks like it actually just bent in. for a little while it's slow to start we got 200 rounds on the table 250 every one of them's getting checked so 10 is 38 81 so basically an individual empty brass average is 3.882 grams oh man 20, what does it say, 28 kilograms. <laughs> this is the same as that. Already so 28 and those two is 56. Is and 3.7, we'll say 60 yeah. kilograms. Okay. 60 kilograms divided by 0 0.003882. 15,455 approximately. That should get us there, hey? <laughs> Hey. Hi. Oh my. Maybe I should just ah. try like a little, <gasps> what about this little piece? Oh, it's attached to that oh. big piece. Okay. Okay, and this is the bacon. The camp out bacon. The girls just made this bacon. This is from the meat cooler and the pig we butchered. 
This is our first taste of the bacon. It's amazing. Are you gonna bring us breakfast soon? I was actually just gonna come talk to you. We're dying for breakfast. Perfect. Mm. I'm dying to make breakfast. Look at that. Well, we have a problem, major problem. Not this, but look what it did right here to our depriming die. It's very bent. I'm gonna try and bend it back, but it will probably break off and then we will be done. Ugh. Really? Yeah, there's no Are you kidding? Picture. How many? One. There's one <laughs> spare? <laughs> okay. Like, wow, like that's before. great. Okay, wait, what Where was this? Dad? Okay, so, so I won't name any names except Kezia just crushed <laughs> this case in the depriming die, and this thing was bent over like a banana. And I just bent it back with the Leatherman, but I was very nervous that it would break. And it's still not totally straight. And it appears that guy is working. We're back in business. Okay. Three hours in and we are, I'm not sure, a little over a thousand. We're in our second thousand. We're at about 1500. Good news is we just did some chronoing and we're still perfect. Whoa. We might be onto something. I don't know if it's cheating having this many people. <laughs> oh, we just bent one. That's what happens when the primers get stuck in the case. Okay, we got 3,500. It's been six hours. At this rate, we basically need to go 18 hours. 18 hours would bring us exactly to midnight. Oh, baby. Rose is making sure we eat good. There we go. Just sneaking in some maintenance. Is that working? I'm not smearing it. Don't, don't. Do you have the new one? What did you do? I vent it again. Again? Yeah. Okay. Well, I didn't bend it the first time. So. But you, but when you bent it, it actually broke. Julia she broke she it bent it back. But after you it. bent it. Yes. Okay. Yes. Luckily, Gary made sure we had one. I actually think it's just included in the kit, but I like to think that Gary personally thought, that guy's gonna break the deep priming pin. Yeah. And he put one in for us. So as long as we don't break another one. As long as we don't break another one. So it's been about 30 seconds, <laughs> and uh, right here. Mm. No, I meant, I meant right, oh. right there. That's, uh, look at that sadness. So here we go, let's see if it breaks. A little more, like this way. The sun is coming. And this team is on a roll now. That is... Show me. Yeah. Is that it? 250. 100. 150. 200. 250. Look at that. Beauty. And 
6,000 here so far. It's been exactly 12 hours and we have amassed 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, and there's four in there. That's 8,000. Oh, wait. This one was from our, our first test run of 1,000. So we do have 8,000 here, but only seven of those today. And we got another 500 here. So we're a little over 7,500 rounds in 12 hours. We don't even know what we're doing. <laughs> Like, none of us have reloaded before. And this is, uh, like, all brand new. So we're learning as we go. But we are a literally an ammo factory right now. So close, Rose. We are Look at so it. close. It's still daylight. I know. It's We're making good time now. Is. Look at that stockpile. Oh man. We're checking so fast. I don't even know why we checked Julia's work though. It's like spotless. Oh, you're the last one. Last one? Really? It's the last one. Just keep saying that till it's actually The last one. Last one. Last, last one. one going through. Last one. Like last a, one. Oh man. Boom! Give me five. We've got our 10,000. That is amazing. Thankfully, this bent little pin, so you can even feel it. It's like a little. <laughs> It held together. So held together. Yeah. It's amazing how many moving parts are in this thing. There's it's a thousand amazing. moving parts and we're crunching metal with every operation. Well, how was that? It's pretty awesome. It's quite a marathon, eh? It was. I thought it was going to be an all-nighter, but... I was so glad it, it was, wasn't. I know. <laughs> 15 hours. Yep. And 10,000 rounds. And, I mean, we had a team of people. We did. But we were all total rookies. And we made a bunch of rookie mistakes. But, at the end of the day, we have an arsenal. We have, like, an ammo depot. And, more importantly, we got pretty good at that. We can crank it out faster now and whenever we want. We're all set up. We've kind of proven it. Really, the only thing left to do is shoot it. That is basically perfect. If you guys like shooting, I think you will love these other videos. Nice. That was 10 for 10.